Welcome back to Skyrim. Thank you for joining me again. We're still in Iverstead. And um, as the game was loading, I was trying to remember what I was doing in the last episode. And what I remembered was that uh, I am pretty close to being over encumbered, uh, which is pretty annoying. Uh, I think I've even given some stuff to Lydia to carry already. So, uh, like I mentioned before, I really hate the to go, you know, up into that... Um, Barrows, I think it's called, while I'm nearly over encumbered because I'm not going to be able to carry anything back. The problem is, though, is that in this little... <laughs> I forgot she was wearing that hat. <laughs> in this little tiny town here, uh, there's really not anywhere that I know of to sell anything uh, other than food and such. Um, I have, let's see, I have a whole bunch of potions, I think that uh, would probably pre be pretty nice to sell off to free up some inventory. Uh, I'm carrying some... Um, well, I know that Lydia's carrying some stuff that we picked up off of those cultists that I would like to sell. Um, so, yeah, just, just carrying around a bunch of stuff, man. And, um, I mean, this Iron Battle Axe of Souls, this was given to me by this fugitive guy. And I'm carrying this thing around as it weighs 20 for crying out loud. And then I have this orcish war axe of depleting. I don't even remember picking this up. This thing's pretty heavy too. So, and then I've got the Wabajack and the Staff of Lightning Bolts and all these pelts here. Um, as far as the pelts go, is there a tanner around here anywhere? I mean, maybe I could do something with the pelts? I don't know, man. Um... Let me just look around here and see. Here we go. Let's see if let's see if I can do something with this. Use the tanning rack here. Uh, I can make leather out of the wolf pelts. I don't know if that's going to free up any uh, inventory though, um, because each piece of leather weighs two, right? And I'm going to be taking these eleven wolf pelts and turning them into pieces of leather. And leather, or, or wolf pelts themselves, they weigh... Let's see, how much do wolf pelts weigh on their own? Because, I mean, I might be making things worse for me. Yeah, so, basically, what it seems to me is that I'll be taking 11 wolf pelts that weigh one each, and then turning them into leather that weighs two each. So I'm doubling my inventory weight there. So that's bad. <laughs> So, I mean, and I'd been taking a lot of the stuff and turning it into level, leather strips, but I've been told that I shouldn't be doing that. Um, yeah, I mean, saber cat pelts, cave bear pelts, all these, all these things, it seems to me that uh, I'll be making way more instead of less. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what the heck I should be doing here. The, uh, I could look at the map... And, I mean, gosh, the next closest town is... I mean, Nilheim isn't really even a town. There's Gearman's Hall over here. Uh, way over here is Shores Stone? I don't know if there's anything over there or not. It just... Over here is Riverwood and Helgen. I mean, I, I could st just start walking back in those directions, but... I kind of hate to do that, too, because then I'm just taking a long walk just to manage inventory. I mean, this is one of those cases where fast travel certainly comes in handy, but I've decided that I don't want to fast travel. And maybe that's dumb. Maybe I'm just making things more difficult on myself for no real reason, no good reason. Um, well, I mean, this is part of adventuring, and if I'm role-playing, this is one of, one of the things you have to deal with when you go adventuring. And, um, right. fortunately in this game, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff that happens. So, oh, what are these guys standing there guarding that door for? So yeah, let's, um, let's go for a walk, man. We're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna walk to, uh, Helgen. Be nice to visit that place. We'll go into Helgen and maybe we could sell some, I don't know, Helgen... This is Riverwood. We'll see which one comes first, Riverwood or Helgen. Uh, I'm going to follow the signs. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go for a walk. Um, I had considered... I was just thinking about a horse. 
Um, but uh, I didn't see any horses there in um, Iverstead. But yeah, a horse would certainly speed things up a bit. But we're going to go for a walk, man. That's what we're going to do. Maybe we'll come across that fugitive again and we can give him that heavy battle axe back. Okay, this is telling me that Helgen is this way, Whiterun is this way, Riften is that way, Iverstead is that way. Helgen this way. Let's go, come on. Ooh, what do we got here? What's this thing? <laughs> Wait a minute, uh, I need to go into here. Magic, uh, back to my shouts. Unfavorite. Let's put Fire Breath back on. I'm kind of quite the fan of Fire Breath. Okay, so it should be equipped now. So when I press Z, it should... This is a bear, isn't it? Hello. How are you, bear? This is a friendly bear. Look, this bear is not going to attack us. Hi, bear. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Why is this bear not attacking me? <laughs> what? Don't they attack? Oh, well, sorry, bear. No! But uh, I need to take you out. Oh, he is mad. That is one mad bear. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. So I had to take the bear down even though he wasn't attacking me. I had to because Temba, what's her face, uh, wants me, Temba Whitearm wants me to uh, take out bears. And um, if I take the bear pelt, yeah, you can see that that's been updated now. We now have four of ten bear pelts for her. I also have to make sure that I don't turn these bear pelts into leather, because uh, then I can't complete that quest. Um, I also have my uh, sword here. This sword, I need to recharge the... Um, Orcish Great Sword of Flames. I need to charge it. I'm going to charge it with my common soul gem, I guess. Okay, so we gave it some more charges. So when I pull this thing out, you'll see that's about halfway charged. And I guess I could even charge it again with this petty soul gem that I've got. That's not the right button. Go here, 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 charge. Oh, I have another common soul gem. That'll fill it right up. Okay. So I filled my sword up here, so that's cool. All right, that's good. That's good. I'm going to need that. Oh, there's a uh, wolf over here. They look like cats to me. Oh, from a distance. These wolves, as they're walking towards me. We'll take his pelt. We'll just, I mean, you know, I'm making this long walk back and I'm still managing to fill up my inventory, but, uh, oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so, this says Helgen is this way. So let's follow the path. We're gonna take a walk back to Helgen. It'll be kind of exciting to, uh, revisit Helgen, I feel like. Check it out. We haven't been there since the dragon attack. I guess I heard birds, maybe. <laughs> Wearing that freaking hat, man. Uh, she's silly. Lydia has a good sense of humor. She's like, oh, you want me to carry this? Okay, I'll carry this on my face. Apparently, it's the best piece of helmet armor that she's carrying. Because uh, that's why she's carrying it. Okay, so this, this is maybe a sign of a tough enemy up here. Could be. You start to see dead animals laying around. Could be that there's something nearby that killed it. But we're not seeing anything. A little house over here. Hmm. Let's walk over to it. It's this little place. 
Alchemist's shack discovered. Okay. Butterfly in a jar. Interestingly enough, this is not... I would not be stealing if I took this stuff, apparently. And there's a... Alchemy lab here. Huh. Let's, um... Let's read this guy's journal. See what's up here. Coming to this area was a brilliant decision. The local flora seem to have many useful properties that I've been able to utilize into new potions. Outside, the rich soil has allowed the cuttings I've collected to grow into fine and bountiful plants. This afternoon, I think I will journey out for more mushrooms as my current supply is beginning to dwindle. On a personal note, I have moved my alchemy work outside the shack. I find the midday air is a boon to my health as well as inspirational to my work. Okay, cool. I'm not going to take this guy's journal. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, I'm also not going to steal anything from him. Uh, I know it's silly, maybe. Uh, the game is not showing this as stealing, but as far as I'm concerned, it's stealing. I mean, if I'm really role-playing this, uh, I have come across this place that obviously belongs to somebody else, and uh, therefore I am um, not going to take stuff that does not belong to me. It's just how I've decided to play. I mean, I could make some potions. Um, I mean, I suppose that um, making potions... I mean, the, making potions here is also not going to help with my weight because I'm taking, you know, blue butterfly wing and blue mountain flower, things that weigh 0.1, and turning them into something that weighs 0.5. So that is also making my encumbrance greater. So I'm not going to do that either. Now, if I had somebody to sell it, sell the potions to, sure, but I don't. So those potions can wait. We can, we can make those potions later, and then sell them in a town. So Helgen is this way. Interestingly enough, White Run is also in this direction. Ooh, here comes another beast over here. Yo! Think twice, dude. Think twice. Cut the ground on fire here. I'm gonna start a forest fire if I'm not careful. These trees do look pretty flammable. What have we here? Got a wolf howling over there. Sorry, wolf. Prepare to meet your maker. I sure do like that shout. <laughs> sure do like it. Kind of icy up here. Oh, here comes a couple people walking in our direction. Let's see if they're friendly. Hello, how are you? Good travels to you. Vigilant of Stendar. The Vigil of Stendar will cast them into the light. Oh, yeah? The suffering the Daedra cause will not go unpunished. Okay, goodbye. I've already spoken Stendar to you and your ilk. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. Okay. All right. Huh. This says Whiterun is this way. What happened to Helgen? Where's the Helgen's road sign? Hmm. If I go the, I mean, I guess going back to White Run wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's interesting to me that it says White Run. It doesn't say Riverwood or Helgen. It says White Run. Well, I mean, I have nothing else to go on, so we're going to go this way and hope that I see a sign that take me to Helgen or Riverwood or something. I don't think I missed a sign. We're going up into the mountain now. There's a little snow fox here. Hello. Can I pet the fox? 
Horsey. Hello, Horsey. I'd be stealing this horse. Who do you belong to, Horsey? Hello. How are you? Well, certainly not going to steal a man's horse. Hmm, a little camp up here, maybe. Hamar's shame discovered? Oh my, what's going on here? Hmm. Ooh. Interesting. Well, got ourselves a little cave here. Not, not looking to go into a cave right now. Being over encumbered at all. Huh. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering how I should keep track of these things because I need to remember that I did not go in there. Um, and what I mean by that is it's now on my map and it's now white, right? So at some point in the future, I may look at this and think, okay, I've been there already because it's white. Whereas when I look at the map now and I see, oh, I haven't been to Gearman's Hall because it's black. So... Yeah, I guess I um, just need to start making notes of places like this. Same thing with the Alchemist Shack. Although I did kind of, I did explore the Alchemist Shack, so that one doesn't really count. But this place here, this is a place that we're going to need to come back to at some point. Now, certainly it's possible that the game will send me there at some point as part of a quest. That's certainly a possibility. So, yeah, I just need to keep track of those things so that I do visit them one day. Um, but it's like, at what point do I visit it? You know, I play the game, and I guess I play the game to a point where I feel like I'm done with it, you know, done with the main story. And then I go back and look at places that the game never sent me to, and then I could go visit them then, just as kind of like, as a tourist, visiting places. I mean, I guess that'll work. Nice walk through the mountain here. Oh, hey, hello, how are you? Are you the fugitive? I've no. been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. You're just a hunter. It's not like my poaching Ooh. is hurting anyone. The Yarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? Yeah. Uh, will you buy some crap from Take me? A look. Let's see if this guy will buy anything from me. Nah, he's just gonna buy uh, ingredients and um, pelts. And I don't think I want to sell those to him. I don't think I do. Um, I mean, they'd certainly free up some weight. And buddy, I am getting close to my encumbrance limit. Uh, I mean, I could sell him these wolf pelts. But I kind of like the idea of having these pelts. I, I really haven't done anything with these. I could turn them into leather and get the um, smithing experience, I guess. I guess that's part of smithing. Um, man, I'm really tempted to sell these to him just simply because I have so many of them. I mean, if I sold him all 15 of my pelts, that would free up 15. Um, how much gold does he have? He has 22 gold. So, I couldn't sell him all 15 of my pelts anyway. I could sell him, like, five pelts. No, let's free up, let's sell him five pelts and free up five carry weight. Why not? Okay. See you later. Bye. All right, then. All right, then. I don't know. I've got so many wolf belts. There's a horse up there. There's a person there. There's another... What's going on over here? Hey, guys. What's up? Stormcloak soldier. Interesting. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Hmm. Stormcloak soldiers. Are you also a Stormcloak soldier over here? Yeah. Okay. Looks like they're looking for something. <laughs> Look at their horses. <laughs> What's going on over here, guys? Looks like they've gotten themselves into a bit of trouble here. The horses up here on these rocks. Falkreath Stormcloak Camp Discovered. 
Okay. Oh yeah. Got ourselves a little camp here. Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? So I guess that paw print icon on my compass means a camp. I guess. Or maybe it means storm cloaks. We got a map here. It's kind of cool. Province of Skyrim. Maybe these guys will buy some stuff. Let's see. I'll fight the entire Legion myself if they dare show their faces here. Next Imperial I see is dead. Let's see, we got a soldier. I long to be out there with my brothers, waging war against the Empire. Okay. Ooh, who's this guy? Legion Quartermaster. soldiers gleam like fresh fallen snow and clank like a kitchen. They head this way, we'll know it. Okay. Maybe we could sell him some stuff. Here's a... Uh... Okay. Stormcloak soldiers in here. We got ourselves an alchemy lab. I could take these bloody rags, they're okay with that. All right, let's see if we can talk to this guy. Hey, man, will you buy some stuff from me? Can't wait to kill another Imperial. Oh, come on! I can't. I can't. Take a look. Ow! Oh, here we go. Take a look. Yes, he will buy some stuff from me. Awesome. Okay. Um. So, well, dang it. <laughs> the problem is, this thing here. I think I'm supposed to hold on to for this fugitive guy, but I'm kind of like, screw you, pal. I don't want to hang on to this. 20 weight thing just in case I run into you again. And then this thing here, I want to see if I could disenchant it. So, I really don't have anything I could sell him. Which is hilarious. Yeah, so I really don't have anything to sell him, except I could sell him more of this stuff. Well, and I don't think I can improve any of my weaponry. No, I can't. And, um... What do you need? Nope, nothing there either. Okay, so... So it's cool to find a camp, but, uh... You know, I, um... I don't want to sell him those items. And the one I need to keep for the fugitive dude. I'm not going to use the wood chopping block right now, because, um... I'll just add to my carry weight. There's a sign. Helgen. Okay, now it says Helgen again. All right, let's go. Get back to Helgen. But yeah, I want to go to a uh, an arcane enchanter and see if the, I can disenchant that one weapon I'm carrying. Those snowberries are pretty the sky. Still on the way to Helgen. Seems like an interesting place for a sign there. I mean, it's not at a crossroads or anything. Have we arrived? Are we at Helgen? Yes, we are. Well, let's see if there's anything left of Helgen after the dragon attack. Hmm, looking like it might be a little smoky here. Oh my. Well, that's certainly not very inviting. What the hell? Oh, gosh. Looks like I'm not going to be selling anything in Helgen. There is nothing left of this place. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you bored, Lydia? Wow. Hmm. 
Well, I should have expected this. I mean, after all, there was a big dragon attack here. I was hoping that maybe somebody would have survived. Somebody trying to rebuild here. Man, is there really nobody here? Oh, uh-oh, enemies. Enemies. Quite a few of them, actually. Bandits. Oh, you scummy bandits. Oh, man. W wussy bandits. Sheesh. What do you got? Gold. Lockpick. Gold. Lockpick. Ingot. Pretty sure there was another dude, wasn't there? I think there was. Now this, I'm assuming, is what the uh, bandits were collecting. So I'm gonna collect that without any hit to my conscience. Better I take it than scummy bandits. I'll murder you, I think he said. There's a book that I don't think I've read. So like even taking that book and that gold, I felt a little guilty there. I mean, how am I any different than a bandit by taking that stuff? But I don't know. Is anybody ever gonna come back for this stuff? Oh, look at him shooting me from up there. Ha <laughs> ha. Can I get through here? I have to, maybe I have to go around behind this. Or not. It's weird. I could have swore these guys came from around here. How did they do it? I don't know, man. <laughs> Thanks for the arrows. <laughs> You'd stand here forever. Him shooting at me, collecting arrows for all eternity. That'd be hilarious. Let's see if I can get to this guy. Maybe I need to go through this building? Yeah, we'll do this. Here we go. This will work. at me, you jerk. That was easy. We'll take his gold, his arrows, and his lockpick. And we'll just leave him here to rot in the sun. Scummy, scummy bandit. Oh gosh, well, say hello to being over encumbered, huh? Potion of lock picking, minor magicka, and a scroll of blizzard. That ought to do it. I'll pick up one more thing, and I'll be over encumbered. A thing with weight. <laughs> that doesn't weigh anything. Um, so I picked up a scroll. Right? Where is it? Aren't scrolls in books? Let me see here. Scroll of Blizzard. So this is... Yeah, this is... If I read it, I would use it, right? Yeah, this is... I would use it, okay. This is... This does not teach me anything. It's not a tome. Come on now. Surely I could climb over this little railing here. Come on now. There we go. Well, I mean, I just said I'm over encumbered, so 
one of the main reasons I walked here was because I wanted to see if I could sell some stuff, but that's not going to happen now, is it? Oh, weird. <laughs> I didn't realize that was the building that I just jumped into, the one that we were already in. That's funny. Well, we need to keep walking. I guess we're going to walk back to uh, Riverwood. Sell off some stuff there because there's there's no selling that's going on here, huh? No, sir? Boy, they've done a nice job of making this place seem really sad. I'm sad. I don't like it here. I want to leave. So, let us walk to Riverwood, I guess. I mean, there may be more to explore in Helgen, I don't know, but I'm looking. I'm not looking to explore, I'm looking to sell off some stuff. That's what I'm looking to do. And this road that I'm taking, I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. Yeah, this might take me up to Riverwood. So we'll go into Riverwood, see what's up in that little town, see if we could sell off some stuff. What's this? A beehive. Bee? Oh man, ingredients? Crap, if I take that, I'll be over encumbered. Hmm. Little camp here. I don't know if this is the camp I visited before or not. When I very first left Helgen. I don't think it is. But maybe it is, I don't know. Well, hopefully there'll be a road sign here at some point. Let me know if I'm heading in the right direction. There's a little house up here. Hello. What's this place? Pine Watch. Pine Watch has been discovered. And, um. Sounds like a bear. Oh, these are different kinds of uh, butterflies. <laughs> Lydia. Did I lose Lydia? Crap, I lost Lydia, didn't I? Crap. Lost Lydia. Gonna take a health potion here. Maybe more than one. Potion of plentiful healing. Alright. Crap, I lost Lydia, didn't I? Doggone it, I lost her back there when I was jumping around in those buildings. And now I'm gonna be over encumbered. We're up to five bear pelts for Temba. Here she comes. Here she comes, right on time. Here, let me give you some more stuff to carry, okay? I've got your back. Yeah, let me give you more stuff. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm gonna give you uh, this heavy battle axe and this orcish war axe, and that'll free me up quite a bit. You lead, I'll follow. Luna Moth. I feel like I need to catch it while I see it. Ooh. Torch bug flying around here. Well, this was, um, Pine something something. Pine watch. Not doing me any good. As I try to get to Riverwood. Heading to Falkreath. Well, Falkreath it is. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me as long as I go to a town. Ooh, enemies. Oh! Somebody's shooting at me from up above. I'm coming for you. I'm 
coming for you. I'm going to knock you off of here with my flame breath. Victory or Slavengard, I believe is what I said. Arrows, gold, arrow, arrows. Oh man, look at this. Longbow, bunch of orcish arrows, those are pretty good arrows. Bandits, gold. Arrows, lockpicks. Nice try, bandits. I mean, really, nice try. Large antlers. That is an ingredient. Come on now. Come on, it's just a railing. There you go. Well, luckily for me, that was a very slow-acting trap. Not sure where the pressure plate was exactly. It could be any one of these things, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, thankfully that was... A oh, there's another one. Well, nice try, guys. Nice try. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, I believe we're going to Falkreath. That's okay. We kind of wanted to go here anyway to speak with the Jarl. He said he had some land for sale, maybe. Do they not believe in uh, road signs in this part of the world? All right. Let's, let's, come on now. Let's go. Let's go. Stop with the foraging. Oh, crap. Who are these people? The Thalmor. It's the Thalmor. Walk away now. Okay. <laughs> I know not to mess with them. <laughs> don't like the way he talked to me, but we know what'll happen. We don't want to get into a fight with the Thalmor. Not yet anyway. That can happen later. Meaning I I don't I don't like them being here in Skyrim. I'm a true Nord. I don't know. The, the, the Nord would be against the Thalmor, right? The true Nord? Ah, crap. We're at a crossroads here. Looks like Falkreath is more in this direction than that one, so we're going to try this. Man, horse. Is this Falkreath down here? Ah, uh, this is Falkreath. This is how I visit towns. <laughs> Just come down from the rocks. Well, I gotta tell you. Um, I imagine you maybe you do this too. But, um, so I heard of Falkreath, right? And I kind of pictured it in my head. Uh, what Falkreath would look like. Just based on nothing other than the name and the fact that I was invited here. This is not even close to what I pictured in my head. For some reason, I guess maybe it's the fact that uh, the note I got from the Jarl, um, since it mentions land, it made me think that there'd be like wide open spaces here. Um, letter from Jarl Sidgir of Falkreath. A courier gave this to us earlier uh, when we were outside of Whiterun. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir. And I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. For one thing, it says city. I, mean, I guess this, any collection of buildings in, in Skyrim is a city, but this seems more like a little village. It's what I've seen so far. The fame of your exploits across, across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath, a Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you are in Falkreath. 
Aside from the honor that accrues to the title, my thanes are entitled to a personal house carl. I, can, I also can tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for your purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. I remain Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. So, I don't know, just the fact that he said a parcel of land made me think that there was going to be wide open spaces, but this is not one bit what I thought Falkreath would look like. Of course, we've also arrived here um, as it's dark and misty outside. Oh my, what time is it? Is it after hours? It's 10.31 p.m. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't be... Oh, hi. <laughs> How you doing? A hearty welcome to Falkreath. All of Skyrim's true sons are welcome here. Thanks, man. You'll find my brother Solof and I are the only true Nords in Falkreath. That Valga Venetia is a gossip and a troublemaker. You'll find my brother Solof and I are the only true Nords in Falkreath. Okay, well, he's not open for sale. Open for business right now. So we can't sell anything to him just yet, I don't think. In the meantime... There's... Nope, I was gonna say there's Lydia, but you're not Lydia. Did you see a dog out there? Did I see a dog out there? Um... What sort of dog? I don't know, really. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. Hmm. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Okay. I will. I'll keep my nose clean. There's Lydia. <laughs> I'm just gonna scare people away, man. Uh, so... We just picked up a miscellaneous quest. Speak to Laud. Laud who lost his dog. Oh, man, we got a bunch of cabbage here. Here is Dead Man's Drink. Can I get oh, you oh, something? Oh, jeez. <laughs> What's up? Well met. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. Yeah? You mentioned a brother. Who is he? His name's Bolin. Yeah, I just He's met him. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking. Especially with folk he don't know. Okay. You're a, you're a Stormcloak? I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Mm. Now maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold with his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. Yeah, man. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. We don't need no help. All right. I was talking to you. Steal anything from my shop, and you'll regret it. I'm not going to steal anything from your shop, dude. Jeez. Welcome. Let me know if you want anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. <laughs> Who's this guy? Fad gear. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. What do you mean? Well, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arkay? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. Hmm. I would be honored. Thank you. All right, then. Great, now I get to walk around with this Bruce guy's ashes. Who is responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath? Oh. I take care of the shrine. Oh. What the... Why is there a thing over top of his head? Apparently, this quest I just picked up... Uh, I'm supposed to deliver Barrett's ashes to Runel. He's standing right here. <laughs> He's standing right here? What? Why couldn't this guy give them to him? Um, let's see here. Barrett's ashes. It's an ingredient. <laughs> Okay, dude, here we go. I have something to deliver to you from this guy. War is not new to Falkreath. You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. Yeah. Dengir deserves more respect than his nephew, Jarl Sidgir, affords him. Okay. Hey, uh, do you tend this graveyard alone? Oh, merciful Arcane, no. 
I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kust is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. Now, he could teach us about conjuration, but I've decided I'm not going to do conjuration. Uh, I have a delivery from this guy sitting in this chair just to my right here. Ah, Barrett's Ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. <laughs> okay, completed. <laughs> what the hell? Easiest quest ever. Life is far too short, my friend. Don't waste it. That's funny. This, I mean, Not this guy. Dumb as you look. Oh, thanks. Thanks? This guy made it seem like that the Runa was in a different town. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. Mm -hmm. The Imperials. All right. We drink to our uh, all right. Let's listen to this guy's song. Oh, we've heard this song, though. The age of aggression is just about done. Yeah, they like it. Look. We'll drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we Yeah, know. look at him dancing. The blood and our steel, we will take back our home. Uh-huh. Down with Ulfric. So he's saying down with Ulfric. But I think that the guy who owns this place we'll is on Ulfric's side. <laughs> We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. And when Southern Guard beckons, every one of us dies. Okay. But this oh, oh, he's not dead. Ours, and we'll see it wiped clean. Uh-huh. Of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. Okay. Uh, so it's time for me to read a book, and there's one conveniently placed right here. So uh, let's go ahead and read The Holds of Skyrim here. The Holds of Skyrim, A Field Officer's Guide. It's for use by officers of the Imperial Legion. Hmm, interesting. Welcome, loyal officer of the Empire. You have been given this guide to help you, and those men under your command, better understand the geography of Skyrim. Since you will be serving in Skyrim for a lengthy period of time, this information should prove invaluable. Skyrim is organized into nine holds. A hold is a large area of land roughly equivalent to a county in Cyrodiil. Each hold is governed by a Jarl who maintains his court in the hold's capital city. Four of these holds are fairly small and sparsely populated. As a result, the capitals are little more than towns. The five major cities of Skyrim act as capitals for the larger holds. Following is a detailed review of each hold. Eastmarch. Located in the eastern reaches of Skyrim, Eastmarch shares a common border with Morrowind. Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak rules from the ancient city of Windhelm, and he and his followers should be considered your most serious threat. Do not tread lightly in Eastmarch, for the Stormcloaks are at their strongest and most organized in these lands. As an Imperial soldier, you will find few friends here. Falkrith Located in the pine forests of southern Skyrim, Falkrith hold borders, while Falkrith hold borders Cyrodiil to the south and Hammerfell to the west. Its most prominent geographical feature, Lake Ilan Ilanalta, covers a vast portion of the region's central landscape. The Hold capital, also called Falkrith, is home to the largest cemetery in Skyrim as a result of numerous battles that have taken place over the years. The remainder of the area is almost entirely wilderness, and the only other notable settlement is Helgen to the east. Falkrith's position in Skyrim is rather strategic for the Empire. It not only controls access to the Reach, Whiterun, and the Rift, but also acts as an important supply line in and out of Cyrodiil. Hafengar Solitude, the seat of the High King of Skyrim and the capital of Hafengar Hold, has always welcomed the Empire with open arms. Much commerce flows along the rivers here, and you will find the folk of this hold to be among the ho most hospitable in Skyrim. As you venture forth in your campaigns, be sure to maintain a secure supply line back to Solitude. The Empire maintains ample provisions in Castle Dower, 
from which General Tullius commands all the legions stationed in Skyrim. Kjellmarch. This hold is divided evenly between wind-swept tundra dotted with farms and a huge, stinking salt marsh. There is little of interest here, save perhaps for the hold's capital, Morthal. Jarl Idgrad Ravenkrone has been cooperative enough with the Empire in the past, but will ultimately look out for her own interests if put in a difficult position. While the hold offers minimal strategic value to the Empire, it should make an ideal staging ground for a Stormcloak Siege of Solitude, and so must be held against the enemy. The Pale The Pale is a barren realm covered by vast fields of ice and snow. Its boundaries stretch from the center of Skyrim all the way to its northern coast. Here, at the capital city of Dawnstar, can be found one of the busiest ports in the province. With access to the coastal waterways of Skyrim, Dawnstar could prove vital in the war effort. Should the Stormcloaks choose to attack Solitude from the river, this port would make a tempting target due to its close proximity. The Reach Dominating the western border of Skyrim, the Reach is made up almost entirely of steep, craggy mountains. Little grows in this forbidding realm, but the capital city of Markarth is a nigh-impregnable stone fortress that would make an excellent defensive position for either side in the war. Be aware that this dangerous region of Skyrim is home to the Forsworn, the rebellious natives of the Reach. They know the terrain, can strike without warning, and count the Empire as an enemy. If they attack, you must neither give nor expect any mercy. The Rift This hold occupies the southeast corner of Skyrim, and much like the Reach in the west, is dominated by tall mountain peaks. The climate in the Rift is milder than in the northern holds, and there is more vegetation to be found here. Farming thrives as a result. A word of warning about Riften, the hold's capital city. Our agents have reason to suspect that the Thieves' Guild makes its home here, though it is now much diminished from its strength in, of previous years. Nevertheless, mind that your men keep an eye on their coin purses should they have reason to spend any length of time in the city. White Run. This central hold is characterized by wide grassy plains that are home to numerous farms. Many roads pass through White Run, joining the more distant holds together. The hold's capital city, also called White Run, sits high on a rocky promontory amid a large flat swath of scrubland. Among the wealthiest cities of Skyrim, Whiterun has usually proven friendly to the Emperor's soldiers. Winterhold This bleak, snow-blown hold in the northeast corner of Skyrim is utterly inhospitable. Perhaps the mages at the College of Winterhold chose to make their home there because they knew they would be left largely alone. As with Falkrith and Whiterun, the name Winterhold describes both the hold and its capital city, though the word city hardly applies. The hold capital is a meager village built near the mage's college. Few other noteworthy settlements exist in this frozen waste, and it is unlikely to play any significant part in the war. Hmm, I was enlightening. We will not be stealing that book. Well, there you have it. We have now read our book. We have now walked all the way to Falkrith, and I'm kind of excited to be here, looking around, looking forward to exploring the place, meeting the Jarl, and uh, perhaps becoming a thane here. Exciting stuff ahead. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I sure hope you join me again in the next one.